The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Why to avenge yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? He wants all those responsibilities and worry. You do your job, it's your fault. You go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey, just, just stop for a minute! Get away from me! Stay away! I just wanna talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up Stay for a minute! Away. I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! Hold it! Hold it! No! Let me go! You got her! There's gotta be another way in. Requested troops are on their way. Keep the shot. Let go of me! Get your hands off of me! Let me go! The wants you, and we mean to give you to him! My patience is done running out! Ah. Won't you be quiet?
Elizabeth, wait! <sighs> Back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. With my company, Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy is? Her anarchist no cronies more. want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boys... your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Wow. Fink Industries is not Help me out with this lock. Ready. Over there, a service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Got a lock, needs picking. Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. There you go. Here's some cash. Can you open this, Elizabeth? Sure thing. Take it.
Booker. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. This is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother, she had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city, please. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! The bee! Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? 20 minutes, 15 minutes. 15 minutes now, bit 14. We give me 14. No. 10 minutes, bit 10. We give me 14. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Eight, eight minutes, bit. Eight minutes, bit. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. <laughs> Do you hear 
There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, now let's figure out where this good time club is. Appreciate it. That's all I have right now. I don't much care for you, Mr. Twin. I must admit, you know your way around the brawl. See how I might have changed your sense of that. Job's a job. There it is, Mr. Joe. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. Chen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on Found you. Some money. Take Tips. something on an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them <laughs> yet. Firemen! Ah, so 
young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Pick this one up at a hiring fair for a song. in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Huh. I found some money. Want it? Here you go. Come on, Franny. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. Look, Chen Lin 
in cell number nine. Did you unlock this? Really? That little old lock. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. All yours. Hey, don't make me do this! Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn goo. Oh, what's that smell? No privies down here. I treat them like animals. Remember. You wanna take a look at this? Ah, this won't take long enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep, number nine. Done. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did- I see See tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. Body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Looks simple enough. It's done. Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men. I 
killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their nose. They're... They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here, Sansmark? Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs. Oh, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines, very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines, very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. 
How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm uh, Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. <laughs> they took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up. In the impound in shanty town. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to shanty town. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Elizabeth! All right. Stop where you are! a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all rage in Paris. Elizabeth! There you go. After him! <laughs> Booker! 
You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have it. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chained.